Okay, I got my yarn and crochet hook. So let's start. Wait a minute. I don't even know how to crochet. Ugh. Well, this video will solve your problem if you're going through the same thing. So, in this video, I'll be showing you the ultimate guide with stitches, materials, and projects that you could do for any beginner. So, grab your yarn and your crochet hook and let's get started. So, first of all, you'll need materials because materials is the start of technically everything. So, of of course, of course, you'll need yarn, and I suggest using a medium worsted yarn in a solid or bright color because that would be really easy for you when doing projects. And some really great crochet hooks you could use are a G6 4.25 millimeters and an H8 5 millimeters, and use them in an aluminum one because they're a lot more easier to grip and they could make your stitches a lot more easier. And another thing is a darning needle, which is a really big fat needle with a really big fat hole. And they also come in different sizes, but I just take one that could just fit my yarn through. And stitch markers. In my case, they're safety pins. You could also use paper clips. And these are really good to use when you have to mark your stitches if you're doing this project and you need to keep count or mark your stitches because it's a stitch marker. Duh. They actually are something else, like they look completely like something else, but you could use safety pins as well. And scissors, because scissors are always important when crocheting. And so those are the materials. So now let's finally begin. So when starting crocheting, you need to make a basic slip knot. And to do that, you're going to wrap the yarn around your two fingers and make an X and make sure that short, short strand which is your tail and the long strand which is your working yarn is like so. So you're just going to put it over your fingers make sure the tail is hanging out making it an X and then take your working yarn and put it over the loop. And then with your crochet hook I'm using the G6 4.25 millimeters you're just going to insert it through the loop and then grab that piece of yarn and pull it out. Then take your two fingers out of the loop and then grab both pieces of yarn and pull tight. So your basic slip knot right now is a little too huge but to adjust it all you need to do is if you want to make it tight you're going to pull the working yarn and if you want to make it loose pull the tail. And now there's many different ways of holding your yarn and crochet hook. Um, some people roll it, like wrap it around their hands a lot to make it tight, and or some people just hold it with their fingers and then let the index finger like guide it along. But the most common way and what I usually like to do is wrap it around my pinky and then over my index finger and that just kind of tightens it and guides it along at the same time so that's really easy for me and when holding a oh yeah and your middle finger and your thumb will hold the tail and when holding a crochet hook you're gonna take your four fingers hold the top mostly where the label is and then your thumb will hold the bottom of it and there's also other ways but that's how I do it and so now let's start really crocheting. So to first start it off you're going to wrap the yarn around your crochet hook and then you're going to go in through that basic loop. That right there is a chain. So CH is if in the written one if you're reading some crochet pattern it's going to be in CH but to really do it just going to wrap the yarn and go in through the loop wrap the yarn and in through the loop so it's really easy and it starts looking like a braid so if it looks like braid you know you got a chain
Okay, so I made 10 chains just for now just to show you how this stitch will look like. So when going on to your next row, do not go into the stitch, your the chain you're in because you'll get these like double loops which you don't want. You're going, going to go into the next chain which is going to be my ninth chain and then you're going to do your whatever stitch you're doing. So I'm going to go in, I'm going to grab some yarn come out I'll have two loops on my crochet hook and then I'm going to take that first loop and slip it through the second loop so that is called a slip stitch and in written form it's an SL space ST so that's that so this one's really easy it's mainly used to slip one working piece into another working piece it's not really used to make stitches or do work like to fill it up not really but you could if you're a beginner i guess this one's okay and that's technically the slip stitch So one last time, you're going to go into your next chain, you're going to grab some yarn, you're going to come out, you'll have two loops, and then insert your first loop through the second loop. So once you have done it all the way across, and this is your first row, never count your chain base, your base chain, your first row, never do. So right there is my first row. and. Um, technically my first row is reaching the tail back again so to move on to the next row I'm just going to chain one and remember to do that you're gonna grab some yarn and go through the loop and then you are going to flip your work over so right now we will be working on the wrong side but it won't really affect your work And so to differ differentiate whatever that word is, the wrong side, the right side, the right side is a little more flat than the wrong side, and the right side is technically where you started, like where the tail ends. So if you are right-handed, your tail will be on the left, and if you are left-handed, your, right your tail will be on the right. So now we're going to go in through some stitches instead of chains. So right now we're, what we usually do is go through a stitch, which is that right there, which is made of two loops. And those two loops are, oh yeah, and those stitches also look like braids, so. And that's what we usually go through when making crochet stuff. But, just to inform you, just in case, those two, I mean, that stitch is made up of loops. So, that loop my crochet hook is currently in is the front loop because it's at the front and the one my crochet, my crochet hook is in is the back loop because it's at the back there's also another one which is the bottom loop which is just right below the stitch and it's kind of hard to notice in a slip stitch because slip stitches are so like compressed together so Right now, I'm currently trying to pull a bottom loop out, and it's really hard. So, it's these three loops are not exactly necessary for beginners, but I'm just telling you anyways, just in case. So, that over there is a bottom loop. But, that right now is totally not necessary. So, anyways, we're just going to go through that stitch, which is braid looking thing that right there and then you're going to continue making your slip stitches so you're going to grab some yarn come out of the stitch instead of the chain you'll have two loops and slip your first loop through your second loop and that's your slip stitch and so you're just going to do that all the way across and every time you move on to a row you make one chain and you flip your work over and continue doing your work So this is what I have right now 
and as you can see slip stitches are really compressed like I said and so if you want if you're making something that for cold weather I guess this is okay but it's a lot of work and so that's the slip stitch I kind of came out messy because slip stitches are kind of hard to notice where the stitch is and all that stuff so I kind of suggest not to use it but if you think it's really easy and okay for you then okay so to finish off your work if you want to like get rid of the yarn that's attached to your uh, skein of yarn you're just going to cut off just a little bit and then you're going to make a chain but you're going to pull all the yarn through I kind of cut my piece of yarn a little too long don't cut it that long though just enough to make one chain and then when you make your chain you're just going to pull really really tight and make your knot and because my yarn is a little long I'm just going to cut off the excess yarn So now we're going to hide these yarns that are sticking out and I call them the sticking out yarns because they're sticking out and we do not need them right now. So what you're going to do is you're going to go on your wrong side and then you're going to go through some random stitches that is close to that sticking out yarn and then you're going to go through, grab the yarn and pull it through and that's just going to hide your yarn and if you ever need it again, you can pull it out and use it. But if you don't want to do this, you could cut it off. But I highly suggest to do it because it's really useful. So once you're done pulling that through, you're just going to take your scissors. Then cut off the excess yarn. And it's pretty hidden and you'll be the only one to know it's there. And so you're just going to do that to the other sticking out yarn or whatever project you're on. So now we're going to move on to another stitch. So to start off again, just so you could remember, you're going to make an X and make sure your tail is, st tail is sticking out and make sure your working yarn is going to go over the loop and then take your crochet hook I'm still using the same one and you're going to slip the yarn through and then take your two fingers out hold both pieces of yarn and pull tight and to adjust it pull the working yarn to tighten it and the tail to loosen it And then you're going to start making your chain. So you're going to wrap the yarn, go in through the loop. Wrap the yarn and through the loop. So I'm going to make 10 of these again. So once I've made 10, I'm going to go through my chain, grab some yarn, come out. You'll have two loops. And so slip stitch, you kind of just slip it through, but for this one, you're going to grab some yarn again, and then you're going to slip it through both of the loops. So it's like a slip stitch, but you add like about one to two more steps. So in written form, it's SC, so that's that. So you're going to go through the chain, grab some yarn, come out, you'll still have two loops, but instead of slipping them through, you're going to grab some yarn again, and then slip through both of them. So this one is a really great one for beginners because it's really easy and it's really noticeable and like a slip stitch and it's still compressed and really really easy to use and I use this and I bet lots of other Beginners use this, uh, this stitch a lot when um, starting on early projects. So I highly suggest using this stitch. So now I'm just going to make single crochets all the way across. So 
So once I've made my first row, I cut off some of my yarn. Actually, no, I didn't. Okay, forget that. Forget I said anything. So you're gonna um, make a chain, flip your work over, and right now you're going to be on the wrong side. And then you're going to go through your stitch instead of the chain. And then you're going to grab some yarn, go through, grab some yarn again, and go through both of the loops. And then you're just going to continue doing that all the way across. And when you want to go through to your next door, you're going to chain one and flip your work over and keep continuing. So, yeah, I'm just going to do that all the way across. So once you're done, you should have something like this. So as I said, it's pretty compressed, but not as compressed as a slip stitch. And it's really easy to make and it has this pretty cool pattern. So once you're done, you're just going to cut off some yarn, not as long as mine. And you're just going to make your chain and pull all your yarn through. And then pull really tight to make your knot. And then you're going to hide your stitches. Not your stitches, but you're sticking out yarns. Ugh, I always say things wrong. And then you're going to cut off the excess yarn. Then I'm just going to do that to the other one, which I already did. And this is what a single crochet look like, looks like. So now we're going to move on to this other stitch. And I already did my 10 chains because I'm pretty sure you guys got it. If you didn't, you could go back and watch the video again. And so what you're going to do, you're going to grab some yarn. And then you're going to go into your chain. Grab some yarn again, come out. You'll have three loops. And then, so instead of two, you're going to have three. You're going to grab some yarn again and go through all three. So it's kind of like a single crochet, and but it has a few more steps. So it's HDC in written form. So you're going to grab some yarn, go into the loop, grab some yarn again, you'll have three loops, and then grab some yarn and go through all three. So again, grab some yarn, wrap it around, go into your next chain, grab some yarn again, come out, you'll have three loops, and then grab some yarn and go through all three. So I'm just going to do that all the way across. And actually, this is my favorite stitch. Like, I love it so much because it's like a single crochet and a double crochet, which I'm just about to show you right after this one. So once you're done with the first row, you're gonna chain one and flip your work over. And then over here, it's more clear to see the bottom loop. It's that one right there. It's just right below the stitch. So anyways, you're just going to go in through your stitch and start making your half double crochets like normal all the way across. And if you want to move to the next row, just chain one and flip your work over and continue doing whatever stitch you're doing. So this is what you should have if you knotted it up and hid away all the yarns and stuff. And I have a total of, I think that is one, two, three, four, five, six, like I think seven or eight. And it's really nice. I, it's my favorite stitch. So now we're going to do a different stitch and I did my 10 chains already. So you're going to grab some yarn again. And then you're going to go into the next chain and then grab some yarn again. Then come out, you'll have three loops. And like half double crochet, well, unlike a half double crochet, instead of going through all three, you're only going to go through the first two loops. Like so. And don't mind that little skinny loop, because that sometimes happens. Anyways, and then you're going to have two loops, and then you're going to grab some yarn and go through those last two. So it's like a half double crochet, but it's technically double of half double crochet. That's why half double crochet is half of a double crochet, if you understand what I mean. <laughs> anyway, so you're just going to continue doing that and 
And so when it comes to the last two loops, you're gonna grab some yarn and go through the last two. So you're gonna grab some yarn, wrap it around your crochet hook, go into the next chain, grab some yarn again, come out, you'll have three loops, and instead of going through all three, you're only gonna grab some yarn and go through the first two, then grab some yarn again and go through the last two. And so I'm just going to do that all the way across. And so I did that all the way across and upwards because I'm pretty sure you understand you just chain one, flip your work over and start again. And so this is how it looks. It's pretty much a double, like I said, a double of a half double crochet. And it has these like things that are sticking out, like they're really loose. So it's pretty awesome. So onto another stitch, I did my 10 chains. And what you're going to do, you're going to wrap, wrap the yarn around your crochet hook twice instead of once like we did before. So you're just going to do it twice, and then you're going to go through to your through or to your next chain, and then you're going to grab some yarn again, and then you're going to come out, and instead of having three or two, you're going to have four loops on your crochet hook. And then you're going to wrap the yarn around your crochet hook and go through the first two loops, then you'll have three loops. Then you're going to wrap some yarn and go through the second two loops. And then you'll have two loops. And then you're going to wrap some yarn and go through the last two loops. And that over there is a triple, I mean, treble or triple crochet, and it's TR in written form. So you're going to wrap the yarn around your crochet hook twice. Then you're going to go into the next chain, grab some yarn and come out. And then you're going to have four loops. Then you're going to grab some yarn again, go through the first two loops. Grab some yarn and go through the second two loops. And then grab some yarn and go through the last two loops. So it's yarn over first two loops, yarn over second two loops, yarn over third two loops. So um, that's why it's called a triple crochet because you're doing that three times. So I'm just going to do that all the way across and upwards. And so once you're done, you're going to have this, and it really sticks out this time. So to kind of be like the other ones, you just have to do three rows of treble crochet. So to sum this all up, you have the slip stitch and the single crochet. And then you have the half double crochet, which is my favorite. Then the double crochet. And the treble or triple crochet. And those are all the stitches, and of course there's more, but those are the really basic ones. And so now to move on to some really easy beginner projects. So these are some crochet leg warmers, which are really easy to make, and I made a video about it, and so you could check it down in the description box below. And another great one is a traditional granny square, which I also made a video about, and you could also check that down below. And this really, really pretty scarf, which is a crochet rib scarf with this really nice pattern, and it looks really hard, but it really isn't, and it's super duper easy to make. And I also made a video on that. So I hope you enjoyed it, and if you did, give this video a thumbs up, and if you have any questions, comment down below, and yeah. So I recently got Instagram and Twitter just for you guys, and so you could send me all your creations with the hashtag MissCraftNerd, so we could have fun. And that's it. Toodles!